Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. Marla on camera. Say hello, Marla. Hello. And today we're doing part two of how to grow acorns from oak trees. No, how to grow oak trees from acorns. Should we start again or should we carry on? Carry on. All right, we're forgiven that one. I did a video back in October where we had some fresh acorns. Now, here are some acorns from the same thing. These are not fresh. These will not work. If you're looking at acorns and they're a bit... You can hear it shat rattling around inside. Not going to work. Well, it might. Um, no, I don't think they will. I'm pretty sure they won't. So when you plant your acorns, I'm afraid if you didn't rush out last October and gra grab some off of the trees, um, you're going to have to wait until this October. But anyway, last October we got some acorns. I did a little vid. Um, you just stick them in some mud, pop them outside, and there we go. Look at that, Marla. Beautiful, eh? And what we're going to do now is I'm going to pot those up. You can grow trees in pots. You can bonsai trees. Um, that's a completely different story, though. But you can grow trees in pots. So if you've grown um, an oak tree from an acorn, if you've got kids, do this with your kids. It really sparks something. It sparks something in your head that will last forever. It's a good thing to do. So you've got your acorn. It's sprouted in something like this. So they grow quite, you know, quite a lot in the last nine months. Um, it's gone up to that. We're going to pot that up, and we're going to leave that in a pot for about another year I suppose and I'm going to put them into a two litre pot so for this we will need a potting mix and a pot so here we go there's the pot, the pot each one in one something like that and for our potting mix we are going to use predominantly predominantly topsoil you want topsoil if you're growing an oak tree if you use multi-purpose compost it ain't going to work it is not going to be happy you want some topsoil so I'm going to tip, even though this is in a multi-purpose bag, it is actually topsoil in there. But there we are. So I'm going to stick a bit of topsoil in my sieve. I'm going to sieve the soil. There we go, that will do. I'm going to give the soil a bit of a sieve with a quite a big sieve, like that. It doesn't have to be completely fine. And I'm going to mix that with a bit of sand. A little bit of gritty sand. There we go. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. And this is just to give it a bit of a drainage in the pot. Oh, uh, it's dry sand. That hey? makes me cringe. It's what? Dry sand. It makes me cringe. Why? Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Same with dry mud. Dry mud, dry sand. It makes you cringe like spiders. The feel of it. What's worse, dry sand or spiders? <laughs> to oh, touch close. dry it's close, sand. It's close, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Anyway, I'm going to mix this together like that. And as you know, you keep on mixing it until it's all the same colour and then you're nicely mixed in. And also, I'm going to stick in a little bit of slow-release fertiliser. Use an organic one. There's loads on the market. Just read the instructions and uh, there we go. This will just give it a little bit of food. A little bit of food. When you're growing stuff in pots, always need to feed them. They always need to feed. They will exhaust the um, supply of minerals and um, essential little elements that they've got. But the topsoil is full of that sort of stuff, so this should be good. Right, so there's our mix. He's pretty well mixed up. Now here we go, here's our oaks, and um, I put on here, I actually dated it, crikey, let's have a look. <laughs> uh, there we go, oak, 20, uh, 10, 20, so I grew, planted these October last year, we are now at the uh, start of July, and uh, there we go, we've got some plants coming up. So I'm going to tip those out like that, gently onto my hand, there we are. And now when you're splitting stuff like this, don't try and split one off at a time, try and split the whole lot into two first, like that. And then we gently tease it away. We don't want to break these roots. Give it a good watering first as well. And there, see, I've got two there. I'm just going to break that away like that. And there we are. And we're going to leave them as clumps like that. We're going to disturb these roots as little as possible. And now I've got another one there. And another couple like that. There we are. Look at those. Lovely little oak trees. Right, so we're going to get our pots and pop in. Oh, I haven't got any water. Oh, well, I have to pretend that we water it but you do have to water them afterwards. So I'm going to do that. No, we would have had, but you knocked it all over the floor. I did. I knocked over Marla's water. She wasn't very happy. She had some <laughs> toast earlier and it burnt her throat. Right, so there we are. Look, I've popped that in the middle of the pot. Marla, if you'd like to show the people, just get your, get your tree central rather than anything else. Then we're going to fill it up around the edges like that. And as always, as always, leaving a gap on top. I'm going to do a little video demonstrating why we leave the gap on top in a minute. And there we are. It's not quite central, but there we are. Um, that's the sort of guy I am. <laughs> so we're give, going to give that a bit of a water. I've been growing these outside. They're trees. They grow outside um, in, this, uh, in the um, UK. 
And so uh, that's going to go outside and we're going to leave that and hopefully in a few years we'll have a lovely little oak tree that we can start chopping around and turning it into a sort of shape we want that could go lovely on a patio or something like that. Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery just showing you how to pot on your oak trees um, from growing them from seed last October. Thanks for watching.